All right, guys, welcome back to, I don't know, Two Crazy Witches? Two Crazy Witches. Whatever we are today. Yeah. Whatever we are. <laughs> um, today, we're going to talk about and show you a few things dealing with candle magic, which is so important because we see a lot of misinformation online. And yes, we certainly do. You can definitely do whatever <laughs> you want to do, but we don't recommend it. <laughs> so... The first thing that we want to talk about is colors. And yes, the color of your candle matters. Okay, you go ahead and explain. All of them? <laughs> well, just just, what, yeah, just yeah. what we have here. Okay. So we have red, love, gold is for goddesses. Black is for your dark side. Blue is for connection. And healing. And healing. Green is for money. Drawing? Is that green? That's blue. Oh, that looks blue. I want blue green. I don't know. Oh, blue and light blue. Okay. Light and blue. Oh, because we just need one blue. Yeah. We're serious about the blue ones, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Purple is just magical. It's magical for lots of different things. Psychic stuff. Psychic would be good stuff too. For that. Yeah. yeah. And green was money, as I said before, but we didn't really have green. Yeah. Money, prosperity. This is red again, so red is love. Yeah. And then pink. Pink is also love. Um, red is sort of more lust than love, but depending on what you're doing, you could use it for both. Yeah. And white is for, say, let's say you're lighting a candle for a loved one. Yep, it's for purity. Missing. Yeah. So those are the colors. We're going to go on ahead and tell you right now that uh, we don't recommend using white candles for everything. No. Because color matters. Yeah, it does. And, and you don't have to take our word for it. You can literally Google it or search it online, yeah. color correspondences. So much information out there says you can use white for everything. Please don't. But don't. It, because it does matter it, what color you're using. It'll affect the magic that it you're will. working. Yeah. Okay. And we've also got a few different sizes here just to show you. So we've got some a pillar candle, which is lovely. We haven't even burned that one yet, which is shocking. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got like a dinner candle, a taper. Yeah. Got it all in yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. Those are longer burning, obviously. So if and you sometimes got... you can get them a little bit shorter. Yeah. Um, I do have some six inches as well. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. So if you're not wanting to burn it that long, you could burn, you could buy that size instead. Yeah. These This size is spell. Yeah. These are spell candles. And they burn quite quickly. So... Yeah, and then we've got tea lights. And tea lights, which are a really good option. The damn cat wants out. Yes, and just the disclaimer on tea lights, and I'll just show you quickly while we let the cat out of the room. The cats like to help, and they're not helping. So this tea light here has a metal base, as you see, which is what we prefer to use. This one here has got plastic. Um, when you're doing magic um, and spells, a lot of time you have to leave the candle burning, right? And so basic candle safety, you know, like make sure no animals are in the room, no whatever. And yes, you shouldn't leave candles unattended. However, with these tea lights that are in the plastic containers, if you leave them burning, there are chances especially if they're dressed and we're going to show you how to dress a candle that they will get hot and melt the plastic and the plastic will catch on fire it has happened so many times to us and we just don't use them anymore yeah we we have them sitting here we'll end up popping them out of those containers and using them for other stuff because it is so not safe to use these yeah. okay i don't recommend it anymore um i used to think they were fine yeah until candles started burning <laughs> till that one till, night in the woods yeah it, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was horrible so <laughs> that was scary yeah. so we don't we just don't use them anymore for stuff like that they're a little bit harder to find sometimes in metal yeah 
but uh, they're worth looking for. Dollar store. Um, so the other thing I'm just going to show quickly is this container here. It's just a glass container we bought at the dollar store, and it's just got salt in it. And quite often when we're doing spells and stuff, yep. that's what we use for a candle holder. Yeah. Because it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be necessarily the size of your candle. No. So you can just put it into salt deep enough to hold that candle, and it works fantastic. Exactly. And, you know, witches love their jars. And yeah. we've always got salt on hand. And it just it just works. It's a fantastic little thing. And honestly, when the candle melts down, it melts into the salt, and you just chuck it out when Start you're done. Away. Sometimes it, does, it just melts into part yeah. of the salt. You can just pick it up and throw that part yeah. away. Or you can... Use divination and find out the message in the wax. Yeah. But anyways, that's another day. So we're going to go on ahead and show you how to dress two different kind of candles here. Um, we're going to dress a, show you how to dress a tea light first and then a spell candle. And basically, dressing means getting it ready to use for your spell. You don't have to do this, but we highly recommend it. Yeah. Because absolutely. it works. It's adding more oomph. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. It really extend, it makes your spell much better yeah. if you if it's dressed with what your intention is. Exactly. So the other thing you can actually do, um, and we have these toothpicks here. I'll show you. Just a regular old toothpick. You can actually etch, etch things in messages. Message. Yeah. What whatever your intention is. So you yeah. just write it down through the candle, just etch it in as you're doing it. I'm not going to because we're not doing anything, doing right, now. anything yeah. right now but yeah you just take a toothpick and you just write if it's a name you need to put or a message that you need to put mm -hmm. whatever your intention is for that candle yeah so even if okay even if you know runes you can etch runes in you there. can do that too if you're doing a love spell you can etch your your lover your intended lover's name in there yeah you can put dollar signs in a green candle before you dress it yeah it's just an extra way of doing stuff yeah you don't have to we don't always, but we definitely do do yeah, it we do in our do practice. It, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to let you dress some candles. <laughs> so we're going to do just a couple of candles, um, just to give you an idea of how to do it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this pink one first, which is a, a love one. Very simple. It's not, it's, does, it's not rocket science. <laughs> it it very, might be. It might be the secret <laughs> formula. <laughs> But yeah, it'll it'll definitely enhance what you're trying to do. Yeah. So for like love, that. we're going to use we should be using three ingredients. The but, candle isn't a green yet. But it's not a it's not yeah, you don't really have to. So we're gonna be using two. One is jasmine oil. We're gonna use jasmine because it's actually an aphrodisiac, but it's other things as well. And you don't put very much, just a little bit, because it's flammable. It's flammable. So I'm going to put three drops. Yeah. And you can move it around, like just so it spreads around. So when you put your other ingredients, it kind of sticks to it. Yeah. So for this one, because it's a love candle, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of roses. This is ground roses. Yeah. Ground red rose petals. Ground red rose petals. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. That's what that is. And that's basically all you have to do. And then you light it and let it burn out. Mm -hmm. you light With it. your intention. Where's the light? With your intention. Yeah. You can also, while you're dressing a candle, yeah. say, I... I yeah, you want you want to um, say your intentions yeah. to that candle as you're as you're dressing it. Yeah. So be prepared or prepare ahead of time what you want to say and what you want it for. Yeah, and it shouldn't feel weird because it's no, just it's not the way things are. So you can see it's lit there, and. Uh, it's got some red rose petals and some jasmine oil and smells divine. It smells right divine because jasmine oil smells. If you've never used jasmine oil, it's something you should try because yeah. it is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how you would dress a tea light. 
And tea lights are harder to etch things in. Yeah. So we don't typically do that. No. Not um, tea but light. if all you have is tea lights in, in the right color, you, you can, can etch on the top. You you can. You can also write on a piece of paper and put yeah. it underneath or burn it. Yeah. Yeah. If it's for somebody that you're trying to attract, put their name on it. Yeah. And just set it underneath. Yeah, the for sure. Okay. You can do that. So we were going to do money. Money. So we're going to take the green candle because green is for money. And what we're going to use on this is peppermint because peppermint is a money drawing. Hmm. So, so I'll get up here and see how you. Do we want to move the pink one out of the way? Yeah. Okay. Be a, this is a little messier because you kind of have to get the peppermint oil on. And then you're just going to spread it around the candle. And at this point, you mean like... Make sure I, you have enough. I take this green candle and yeah. I'm spreading peppermint oil with hopes of, you know, not whatever, hopes, but it is going to happen. Yeah. Like, I want to... This is for... Money, money, come Money, right money, now. yeah. Whether it be whatever it is or wherever, you know, how, how, it's for to get it from anywhere. Yeah. So just make sure it's well covered. And my fingers are a little sticky here. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just going to take a little bit. This is cedar. So cedar is also, this is ground cedar leaves. Yeah. So it's Again, also a um, coffee grinder. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And it's for money. It's money as well. So we're just going to sprinkle it. It doesn't have to be completely coated. It just needs to have some on it. So that's beautiful. That looks great. Just like that. And we'll take it and put it in the salt. And remember to to say your intentions as you're doing this. Yep. Right? So keep just repeat it and yep. repeat it until you're done with that. And then you can just light the candle, put it in your salt in a container. Or just enough salt, container, or whatever. If you, you can use whatever you want, but if you don't have one, just use a small container like this. Doesn't have to be a; it could be anything. Yep. And, if and then just have enough salt in it to hold the candle up, and there you are. Yeah. And you can see all the cedar on it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Right? Yeah. And that, my friends, yeah. so is look. basics on candle magic. Yeah, it is. And mm -hmm. it's just what whatever, like I said, if you're using purple, then you go with that. If you're using yeah. green, you go with money, whatever you're doing. Yeah, and we will definitely talk more about this as we go yeah. along. But um, I think the biggest thing for me is please don't use white for everything. Don't use white And okay, for if you're broke and that's all you have, I get that. Birthday candles, uh, you can use too. You can use birthday candles. Absolutely. And they're colored and they're cheap. Yeah. So... Please, please, please think about the color correspondences of things. It does matter. It does matter. Absolutely matters. Because your your spell is much stronger with the color that you're after. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. That's everything we got for this segment. And uh, I hope that helps. It will help. <laughs> <laughs>